to talk to you about pay. Uh, did you see the talk pay hashtag on Twitter on Friday? Do you know why we talked about pay on Twitter on Friday? Okay, um, so Lauren Voswinkel uh, did a, an article from All of You Culture, and she suggested that we use May 1st, which is International mm -hmm. Workers Day, to talk about pay. And uh, if you don't know why May 1st is International Workers Day, and why Labor Day in the United States is in September, <laughs> I really encourage you to look this up on Wikipedia. It's a very interesting story. Um, but aside from that, so she said, okay, what if we all went and we talked about how much I earn? Like, how much do I earn in my current job or in past jobs? And just share that information with each other. Does that make you uncomfortable? Does like the thought of like raising your hand and being like, hi, I make $88,000 or $120,000 feel really uncomfortable? <laughs> There's a lot of reasons we're told not to talk about that. Um, some of it is is like social taboo, like, well, what if you earn more than me, what if you earn less than me? You know, what if you judge my shoes now? <laughs> but um, part of it is our employers too, right? Like you might have signed something that said don't talk about what you earn. And the truth is that the National Labor Relations Board in the United States says you're allowed to talk about that. You are allowed to tell people what you earn. You're allowed to tell your coworkers, you're allowed to tell your friends, like go ahead and talk about what you earn. And um, it's really, it's actually important that we do that and that we know what people earn for certain types of work because without that data, you can't negotiate. You know, if you're going to walk into a new company, into a new job, and you don't know what they pay a software engineer to, then you're starting out from what you earned at your last job. And if you were underpaid at your last job, that just aggregates over time. You can start out underpaid by 5K compared to your coworkers in your first job, and it could be 30K 10 years in, it could be more than that. So it actually affects you, not just now, but later. Um, so, you know, and the thing about pay inequality is that it actually tends to affect people from minority backgrounds worse. There are a lot of weird implicit biases that we have about who, who uh, deserves to earn money when they do various kinds of work. And those play out in all this negotiating process too. So if we share information, we can actually level that a little bit more, right? We can all know what, you know, what to expect, what to negotiate for, help each other out, right? But, you know, I mean, why bother? Maybe you're happy with what you earn. That's really great. <laughs> you know, that's super awesome. But on the other hand, the company you work for probably has a mandate to earn more money, to bring more profit back to that company. If you take a little bit more of that, it hurts their bottom line very little. But what it does is it gives you more power to support causes you care about. And, you know, that might be worth another extra 5K, 10K every year that you have coming in. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say, oh, I wanted to also call out Pfizer 15, are you aware of this? So tech salaries, tech wages, those aren't usually minimum wage jobs. Pfizer 15, though, is a campaign to raise the national minimum wage to $15 an hour. Um, this affects tech companies because people who clean these offices, people who cook your lunch when you have a catered lunch, those are often minimum wage jobs. So in order, um, to actually let people, like everybody who contributes in tech, actually earn a living. I mean, if you think $15 an hour is a lot, I'm not going to live off of that any time recently at all. Um, so in order to let everybody, right, actually earn a living, this kind of thing actually matters. So that's just what I wanted to say, like, think about talking about pay, think about talking about salaries. It's, I think it's really important to supporting each other and to having uh, technology be something that is for people and not just for people.